Hi, my name is Marcio Cabi. I have a great talk about this project, Play Energy from NL. And uh, this project has a Brazilian site in Portuguese. And uh, I recorded, I'm recording this introduction because my audio uh, was moot in the conversation I had with Pierre. So now you can see our conversation and uh, many ideas to promote this project in Brazil in, uh, to help uh, young people to learn about circular economy uh, with challenges, okay? And see the whole, uh, see the conversation, uh, but unfortunately, only the audio of uh, Pierre, it's okay. Are you able to record a video in Portuguese to promote uh, to explain how this project can be very, very good for young people and for teachers and professors. Yes, yes, I am. I'm from Campus Party, the holding. So the main branch to which all the, the countries such as Brazil are, are refers. We are currently, uh, so I, I suppose you already know Campus Party. But the the um, uh, the same ikigai concept. I don't know if my pronoun is correct, but uh, um, I can say you that in Italy we are currently elaborating a new version of the campus party uh, based on finding the the best way for everyone to impact the world, finding themselves uh, in the process. So uh, um, it's uh, strictly connected to the ikigai concept of uh, finding your own passion through the work, impacting the, wor the world in a positive way, basically. So um, I learned this concept in Campus Party because I didn't know it before. So I, 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 there seems to be some kind of connection, uh, the, some kind of, uh, um, we, we, we are um, exploring the same concept, uh, it seems. So I, I saw a lot of your videos and I love them. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe you can, uh, we can uh, connect you with the local branch of Campus Party and uh, maybe w w whenever the, the next Campus Party is going to be live again, because we still don't know because of the COVID, but we suppose next year should be live again. You can organize something uh, to, to make origami within the Campus Party. People will absolutely love it. I didn't know this. Yeah, they're beautiful. I, I didn't see this video. Amazing. I, I didn't try to search your, your name or origami and campus party. I, I didn't even think about that. That you maybe already did something. Okay. C could you could you could you send me the link to this video, please, so I can uh, I can see it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, in the in the bottom question. Okay, so super fast. The project we are working in right now, and we wanted to involve you. It's a, a play energy. The play energy is called. It's a competition that involves uh, all kids uh, from fourteen to twenty in seven countries around the world, including Brazil, uh, which is which is the biggest country of the one involved. The role is to teach them, to educate them, and give them a uh, give them an active role in a sustainable and innovative future. So we want to make them the new innovator on sustainability. We want to teach them how to take uh, initiative on that. The theme is circular city in particular. Last year was a different theme, 
this year is called the city because the cities are the place where most of the waste happen. Uh, waste, so any kind of waste. Uh, we uh, all the garbage, the energy consumption, uh, uh, all the but also the recycling, most of it happens within the cities. We're talking about 70% of the world waste, it's within the cities. The con contest is an online platform. I can even show you the platform. I, I didn't think to show you the screen, so I don't have the, the link ready, but you can see the platform here. One second. Okay, that's that's the big question of a lot of automotive. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry that I'm showing it in Italian, but I logged in with my account, which is in Italy. But you see, it's a it's a platform. And uh, by the way, what you just said is very important because uh, uh, one of the big theme of. Uh, uh, waste is exactly how to better manage energy. So the petroleum challenge is one of the biggest ones uh, very quickly it, this is the aspect of the platform right now so all the happen the challenges that have been done until now uh, we can see I, I i have already done a few of them to test them so we can really see them all but i'm gonna stick to the presentation to make it easier so the platform that you have just seen is the place where everybody can participate and uh, um, do the challenges because, uh, and Campus Party, you already know them. Who can participate? You you can already know it. I'm gonna go to the challenge. So so every month from the 1st of April of this year until 31st of October, there's gonna be a new challenge. A month, a different challenge for a total of seven of them. And uh, every challenge is different. Uh, so it could be um, a very easy challenge, uh, such as uh, put the solar panel or the wind turbine in the right place, or it could be uh, more, uh, more uh, challenging, such as make uh, a product to uh, recycle something that is currently going wasted. Okay, for example, I've seen uh, some very beautiful projects. I, I cannot show you them right now, but made from some kid that were uh, recycling the um, face mask from the pandemic. Okay, because I didn't know, but the face masks are uh, are not recyclable because they're made of a tissue which is uh, very hard to recycle. So they find a new way to use them. So they had very very beautiful idea. Every month there is a new challenge which uh, makes a rank. Every month there is a rank, and then there is a complex, a general rank of the competition. For example, I can show you this. This from the first of August, this will be clickable, and there is going to be a challenge that you can be that can be done here. Okay, I'm just going to show you a random one. This is the June challenge. Uh, because you can do also the challenge that have been done before. So if you log in, in if you start doing the competition in August, in September, in October, you can do all the previous challenges, which are not so difficult to, to do. So you, you are not late if, for join, if you are joining on uh, uh, the last week of uh, October, because you can do everything uh, in less, far less time than a week. Okay. So there is every every explanation here. There is a video that says, "Okay, this is how you. Uh, this is what we are challenging you to to do." So it's a it's a custom video. Sorry, I I cannot mute it, so I I'm gonna skip it. But you can see everything with it. Yes. So I'm gonna go back to the presentation. Um, where are the teams? No, no, every. Uh, uh, no, uh, sorry, I, I didn't hear what you said. No, every every um, website, every platform is completely translated. Every video is translated. Every part of the competition is translated. Here are some of the old work that has been made. And you see some of them are made in English, but some of them are made completely in the local language. So it could be Greek, it could be 
uh, Italian, it could be um, Brazilian, Portuguese, any language. Kids can participate alone or in teams, up to three people in the same team. An interesting aspect of the competition is that the prizes multiply per people in teams. So if you if you win a, a monthly challenge, each monthly challenge gives prizes to the people from first to the ninth place. So if a group is placed from first to ninth place, they win a prize. Okay, and the prize is for every member of the group. Okay. Yeah. Yes, three times the, the prize. Uh, this works also for the uh, final uh, prizes. So uh, we have, I'm seriously telling you, we have a family which is participating basically. Because there are three people, two, uh, we, we asked them because we saw the same surname. Uh, so we have two brothers and one cousin and uh, their parent is a teacher. So he endorsed the, the work of their child because teachers can participate too by giving endorsement to the work of the kids. Because pro a project, uh, not yet in Brazil, but in Italy, it's also valuable for school. So they can use uh, to teach uh, um, to teach in school uh, the sustainability. And if the teacher who endorses a group rank first to third wins uh, 150 euros. Okay. Yes, yes. Teacher will basically help the kids by giving them also a, a, and give them a, a document saying, uh, I appreciate what they did. I think this is a valuable work. Very, very easily. Okay. Then there is a general, general ranking. I can show you. There is a general ranking of the whole competition because this is a monthly challenge which made a monthly ranking. So this is the rankings. So all the points that have been made by single groups. This is the general ranking of all the teams around the world. I, I don't want to show you because that's a lot of teams. And then there is the, the um, ranking of this month. The kid, the top seven groups of the general ranking will go to the final, the final event. By going to the final event, the seven, the seven winning teams will win a uh, thousand euros for each member just by going to the final, okay? So you got selected for the final, you go to the final and you win the first prize. Then there are going to be the winning groups of the final challenge. We receive an additional thousand euros per person. Okay, so it's a it's a big prize. By the way, prizes are paid in Amazon vouchers because of taxation, basically. Because if we give you money, the um, state, at least in Italy, will take part of it. Okay, because of taxes. But if we give you, if we give you, uh, yeah, yeah, it should, it, it should be almost the same uh, as money, okay? So uh, it, uh, it sums up for a group that's working well, uh, for a whole group of three people, it's uh, more than 6,000 euros of uh, prize, okay? So it's, it's a nice prize. And consider we are giving this to kids that could be 14 to 20, so not necessarily, uh, adults that are working we are giving them resources um so i'm gonna go on then there is gonna be how how it works the final the final event it's uh, it's gonna be basically a hackathon so uh on the way that campus party does the the usually the hackathon during the final event which is called spotlight campus party is specific for this competition there's gonna be an event which includes the final which is a challenge given by Enel. We don't know yet the challenge is, which challenge is going to be, but for example, last year was uh, Enel asked, uh, give us the best way to recycle the wind turbines, okay? The fan, the big fans, because they are hard to recycle. They are huge, they, they let a lot of material, which is high quality material, but uh, it's uh, stressed by the work, so they must find a new way to use them. So 
I, I confess that probably they have not decided it yet. It's not just it's secret, but they are still working on it, I suppose. Anyway, this final event is going to be on the on January 2022. So there's time to to um, fix everything and decide how to do that. And these, I know you are, you have two songs, right? Because you mentioned them in in several videos. I I I suggest you absolutely make him participate because uh, he, he that's a valuable occasion. First of all, for you and for him. So it's uh, he's he's older than the age of the of the project. Yeah, I understand. And um, because I, I didn't mention before, but Enel, um, why Enel makes this kind of competition? It's not it's not written in the presentation, but I have no problem recording this because it's it's unofficial, but it's uh, it's true. Uh, Enel wants to educate the kids, but also they use this competition to find valuable talents uh, within the within the kids so uh, it's uh, i say kids but it's young adults because we're talking people up to 20 years old they look for valuable people and uh, keep an eye on them the the um, during the final event uh, the judges of the um, work of the kids and during the whole competition are actual current man manager of uh, enel and not uh, people, uh, um, let's say, people hired to do this. No, they are people from NL, top managers that evaluate the work of the kids. They keep an eye on them. So it's an opportunity for anyone who who wants to be seen and listened eventually by, by NL and maybe will, will, will like to aspire in a job within NL. It's a possibility. Uh, Let me let me just uh, just say you a couple of last last things because we would like to uh, we usually say that uh, this will be the first step uh, in a relationship between us and you but you already are connected to Campus Party so I hope this is something that will help you to bring your content to the next Campus Party and that's the first point then we um, we love if you if you. First of all, can participate or involve your direct members, your closest friends, uh, the people connected to to you, not only to other associations, which I really, I'd really love to connect with and to to involve. But uh, if you uh, if you can uh, communicate about the project within your closest friends, that, that's great. And uh, we, if you if you want, we can uh, give you some kind of partnership status, as is stated in the presentation. So uh, if you can provide us some kind of uh, uh, proof that you did some contact directly, I can. If, obviously, if you give me the contact of other uh, association or communities, that's enough. But if you communicate through your, through your channels, it's even better because we have to report to Enel what we are doing with, the, with the everyone. Uh, we can uh, arrange to have you some kind of logo of uh, what you prefer. For example, it could be uh, any any of the the name you show me, or even your personal brand to the to the specific page of the partners of the project. Okay, that's um, um part in, in this moment they are all partner. Then we we can see. Okay, I okay that's a great idea. I I didn't tell you a thing before, which is very important. Uh, you'll see in the competition that uh, the points are awarded because of a, a, um, several different uh, things. For example, you upload your project, you got 100 points. You got votes for your project because it's made better than, on, than other projects. You got points. You invite people, you got points. But at the end of the challenges, there's going to be a qualitative evaluation by a team of managers. So it's very important to have work made with quality inside the competition and it's very they are very attentive to work made as you said with technologies such as printing or uh, cutting or because they are they are um, 
what it's uh, the new, the the future of this kind of work. And absolutely, it's easier to make uh, something new through uh, by using anything that you can find in a fab lab, for example, a laser cutter or a printer, uh, a three D printer. So yes, it could be very useful, um, but uh, not 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 necessarily for you. But to help uh, a group in participating and bring the best idea. So if you want to do that, are you, uh, you you work in marketing, so you are not a teacher, right? You you cannot say you are a teacher. No, no, no worries. No, I want I wanted to propose you to participate as a teacher by endorsing some team, but it's it's not possible if you're not a teacher. So thank you please let us know what you do so we can inform you of the success of your action it's it's important for us to let you know how is it going because we we want to let you know people are joining because of you okay that that's important for us <laughs>